Welcome to another episode of Quarantine Review, where we are stuck inside watching TV. Last time we watched episode one of Tiger King. Quick recap, everyone's crazy, there are no good guys, everyone's in it for their own game. There's Joe Exotic, who runs a zoo. And then there is his enemy, Carol, who also owns a zoo. So far there are no good guys, although I do sympathize with Carol because she loves cats. I've heard that it gets crazy in episode 2 and 3. My friends are pushing me to finish it. It is now 11 o'clock p.m. I am not going to stop tonight until I finish the entire series. Here we go, episode 2. Oh, here we go, already. The arm is completely gone. We do not oh. get everything out of the out of the driveway. That guy is remarkably is calm for someone who just lost his arm. Make a sweep through the park and make sure there's no other customers. How did he get into that medical jacket so quickly? Did he put that on for the cameras? He looks awesome. About an hour ago, we had an incident where one of the employees stuck their arm through the cage and a tiger tore her arm off. <laughs> I love how he walks into the room of customers and goes, An employee just had her arm ripped off. Joe really has a flair for the dramatics. I am never going to financially recover. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow. Everything was all well and good in the first episode. A tiger mauling in Winnie World. Oh, it's Island. her! Sorry I called you a man. Blah, blah, blah. How did I not notice she was missing an arm before? The surgeon came in and said, Hey, Saf, it's going to be, you know, about two years of reconstructive surgery. Or you can amputate it. And I said amputate it. Wow. Why? If I stayed in that hospital, the media wins. Loyal employee. This. You're back on the park today. Still loyal, still working, still loving these cats. Respect, she likes cats. This guy. Yeah. Going good, just riding my elephant. Look at me, I'm holding this cub. Look at me, I'm petting this tiger. Carol! This Carol loves cats. I wanted to just buy a regular baby tiger. How much would it cost? 2,000 bucks. That's it? Duh. What's the first thing you should do to protect an endangered species? Make more. Yeah, this is not the thing, eliminate right? Eliminate the source. I think the focus maybe should not be so much on whether or not it's okay to own them and breed them, but rather it should be on ensuring a minimum quality of life for them. I posted online 28 different places that are all part of this whole, what I call, bad guy network. <laughs> None of these people have any subtlety. I, the woman's just obsessed with me. That goes both ways though, doesn't Carol. it, Joe? You're a little obsessed with Carol too, but we all are. I love Carol. Seems like Carol's getting her tigers for free though, no? That's a nice deal. Not that they're expensive. Pretty much any way they would smuggle like, illegal drugs, they would do the same with the animals. The money coming in suitcases to the bank, I did that. But not with a fat guy in the van. It was a Corvette. That did it <laughs> That's amazing. What he's trying to say is that he's cooler than Scarface. Which is pretty damn cool. Maintain, I sold drugs to maintain my animal habit. What? It's Actually, like, his addiction is animals. Drugs animals, drugs. You. I don't understand. Everyone keeps talking about this addiction to wild animals. I don't... There's this thing that I... What is it called? There's like this parasite. Yeah, toxoplasmosis. Basically, this is a parasite carried in cat feces. I, I'm talking out of my ass. I, I gotta read about this first. Yeah, so the parasite wants to live in cat's intestines. What's amazing about this is that if mice have toxoplasmosis, somehow the parasite affects the mouse's behavior and makes it more likely to run into danger in the hopes that it will get eaten by a cat so the toxoplasmosis can go into the cat's intestines. So parasites can affect behavior. And I wonder if these people don't have toxoplasmosis infections. Because the way these people are talking about this, this is not a hobby, this is an addiction. I'll bet if you do an autopsy on Carol, you'll find her brain is 50% toxoplasmosis. I did not use the circular saw in his neck, it was somebody else. What difference does it make? This guy's kind of fascinating. Down, down. <laughs> Animals don't judge. Like my cats. They don't care who you are or what you've done in your past. That is definitely true. One thing I had definitely have to give the show credit for, I'm only on episode two, but these two episodes have done a really good job making these people super sympathetic. They give these little clips that show the humanity of everyone. Bhagavan. Bhagavan. Doctor is he? Mystical science. Mystical science? Yeah. The best Who's kind that? of science. One of his wives. One of his oh. wives. I like that answer. How many wives does he have? I would say he has three. He yeah. has three wives. Yes. Currently? Dr. Intel, he has four or five wives. Whoa! Yes. Doc Antle, everyone! He has like nine wives. Whoa, we, that escalated wives fast. We went from three to nine. Who are these people, man? This is intense. How many wives does Doc Antle have? I don't care. Jealous. You're jealous. Why do these people gotta make me feel bad? They got these big cats, huge compounds, millions of dollars, nine wives, meeting Shaq, nine wives. 
Everybody's jealous. I'm jealous. Bhagavan means Lord. Yeah. The Bhagavan is the master of the universe. And your dad is that guy. It's for certainly in his universe, he definitely is that character. Okay. Daddy doesn't let me have any wives. <laughs> They're all for him. <laughs> Daddy, can I have a wife? Please. We lived in these terrible horse stalls, basically. Like, with sliding doors with bars on them. This dude stables gets his wives in stables. I mean, this is insane. This is what tigers do to people? people this is life. messing me up, man. What the hell? Doc says, you're this garbage person, but if you listen to me, I'll make you great. If they wanted to- I want to be great. <laughs> get to the top, Can I be great? They should sleep with him. I mm. When I met him, I had two husbands, whatever you want to call them. He had three. Are we running a competition? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, it's because Doc Adel's winning. So we're taking the trash trailer down one day. John's driving the truck. Me, Joe, and Travis are on the back of the trailer. Joe says, How straight are you? <laughs> I said, Well, you ain't that straight. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Today we have gathered to witness the union of Travis, John, and Joe. <laughs> They don't kiss each other too? Seems like Joe is the clear winner here. People like Joe have an amazing grip over people, generating an affection and a devotion that is totally irrational. That is hilarious coming from this guy because he's obsessed with Carol. And that they're getting to do something they like, and that it's not a job, it's a lifestyle they have dove into. How much do people get paid? A hundred dollars a week. Wow. I don't pay anybody to do animal care because people will do that for free. Oh, free Carol labor. Baskin of Big Cat Rescue has an army of people working for free. She is not a stupid woman. She makes everybody else do her dirty work. For real. Because we're going to have so many people here today, we have brought in 76 of our own volunteers. Ah, see, Carol's worried about conditions for Gina the animals, Bonnie but not for her own workers. Carol! These people got to stop with the animal clothes. Our volunteers wear a color-coded shirt system. Red shirts um, primarily function as like your, your beginner. Almost a year to get your yellow. Then you have to have your yellow for a full year. Oh my god, this is insane. You have to have been here for a minimum of two years. And it goes Carol is literally running a cult through color coding. Royal blue. I'm actually an intern. Work six uh, days a week, 12 hour days, basically fast pacing through. The that is illegal. Program. Sadly, I hardly ever know who they are until they've been here. <laughs> like, they're here for level five, and it's like, I've seen you around here a lot. <laughs> Carol. This is top tier level cult genius. Who are these people? And why are they smarter than I am? She's a master marketer. I'll give her that. And last two weeks were like $23,000. And every two weeks it's going up. This show is doing a great job creating a parallel between all the different people and representing them all as cult leaders. That is genius. Five thumbs up. The channel has 200 million views. Her accounts have 10 million people watching. Wow. That moment when you realize Carol is a better YouTuber than you. Kind of popular. <laughs> See the man's no. And they all do music too. They're all the same. They're all the same people. Does Carol have multiple husbands? That's the missing link. Carol needs to have multiple husbands, and then they're all exactly the same. Media, duping tons of teenage children to devote their days and times to the cause that she has. How do I dupe Again, teens into watching my videos? Her sanctuary is probably worse than most people's backyards. It is literally a wired jungle in a mess of trees. That's the impression I got from the, the first SBA episode. do not care. They kept giving her perfect inspections where we couldn't get one. Branding. I think it's branding, too. probably. You know, uh, she, that is annoying. I met the first time I ever went to Doc Wade. I said, I don't need you to teach me a damn thing about animals. How the f*** you got these women drinking? Ah, but that's the thing, though. It's the animals. It you starts with the animals. animals. He chose all of our outfits. We were supposed to be sexy. All right, you can't be good at everything. Very... He's got his little coat, and I got my little coat, you know? Joe is surprisingly self-aware about all of this. If you talk to the people who have escaped some of these situations, what they'll say is that they were treated so abusively. Yeah, because they didn't have colored t-shirts. There's always been a rumor out there that Doc Antel euthanizes his cubs when he's done with them. That's terrible, because if true. It takes a few people to lift a big cat, unless you part them out right there, I guess. She thinks she's the Cleopatra of big cats. And to tell you the truth, she's not that good. Oh! And anytime anybody attacks her, she goes after them with her millions. She inherited it from her husband that's dead and missing for years now. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. How does someone's husband just go missing? Like yeah. They just go missing? He just vanished. Carol Baskin's foolish, in my opinion. 
she's got a missing husband that's supposedly buried in her property. What? That's a real true story. Her husband disappeared. What the hell? The lady who runs Carol. the rescue, who seems, in my no. opinion, to be completely out of her gourd, and Carol. Seems, in my opinion, to have killed her own husband, potentially. Carol Baskin's third husband. And they can't find his body. Yeah, we believe no she way. No. Hooked. That's it. This changes everything. Here's what I learned from this episode. They're all the same. They're all cult leaders. They all have parasite infections in their brains. Carol's husband is missing and maybe she killed him. Carol, I trusted you. I liked Carol. I spoke favorably of Carol in episode one. This is the thing though, they're psychos. They're psychopaths. That's what makes them so charismatic. They don't give a crap about anyone else. They've got everyone fooled. She had me fooled. Having tigers would be the perfect way to dispose of a body. And you know she doesn't give a crap about people. She has all her workers there for no pay. The only thing they get is colored t-shirts. That is some evil genius sh right there. Carol. Carol has earned my respect and my fear. Let's keep watching because let's, I need to, I need it. Watching next episode.